So at this point, I would like to call Joyce, if she's ready. There she is. Woohoo! Woo <laughs> it would take me a very, very long time to read all the wonderful things that Joy, Joyce has accomplished. Uh, she just gave a wonderful performance and workshop this week as part of the festival and was very generous and said, can I do a poem for the final too? And uh, I am just beyond honored that she wanted to, to share her work with us. And Joyce Ashuntangtan is now a professor at the University of Hartford. And everybody I know seems to know her because I talk to OK and Diva and say, oh yeah, Joyce is my, Marilyn Nels, oh yeah, Joyce is my friend. So we have, we have this little community that we didn't even know we had. So please welcome Joyce Ashuntangtan. I'm so excited to be here, but you guys are going to bear with me because I've been having pictures taken of me talking, but nobody ever sees the audience I'm talking to. <laughs> so I'm like, this time I'm not living here with that kind of picture. <laughs> Before, Send me one, I want a copy. <laughs> Otherwise, my family in Cameroon will think, maybe she just changes her clothes and takes pictures. And <laughs> <laughs> OK, I, I was just excited uh, to see that we had this at the program. I, I travel a lot for international poetry festivals, and it's very normal for us to come and speak our poems in different, in different languages. And, when Betsy, I saw this program, and I know she did not want to overburden the, uh, the lead poets to come back today, and I said, Betty, I can do this every day <laughs> if I could. So I'll go straight to it. I'm going to read a poem, uh, my own poem in Kenyan. As you would know, I'm from Cameroon. Uh, Cameroon was colonized by Germ uh, Germany, then Britain, then France. Unfortunately, because of colonization, our official languages are French and English. So Kenyan, I don't get to speak Kenyan. I was not, um, I didn't study it. Fortunately, I grew up with parents who respected uh, the language and they spoke it, and so I picked it up from them. And because I did literature and I ended up doing linguistics and African linguistics, I learned the alphabet. And it's not very common for my peers to know their languages, so it's, it's something I'm proud, I'm proud of, and every opportunity I have, because I would say the English language has stolen a lot from me as I write my poetry in English, but now I'm hoping that I could give back to that language, and this was a perfect opportunity for me to write a, a poem in Kenyan. I hope that going forward, I will be able to do more poems in Kenyan, because honestly, the, that language continues to survive, but it would be wonderful if we can keep a lot of uh, our experiences in that language as well for posterity. So this poem is uh, titled Aso. Aso is my village in Cameroon, and the gist of the poem is that I have traveled all over the world. I've gone to a lot of sophisticated cities, but I carry Ashum with me. It is spelled Ashum, but my people call it Aso, because to forget Aso is to forget the blood that runs in my body. It is to forget my parents. It is to forget my ancestral seed. It is to forget my soul. Aso, Motoro Wawu, Cameroon. Aso, Antenapium. Yem ram mai wo chichi mante be fere wo mante no chi be o ron te taya no chi be o ron te man nun me a chi ma mwet men kan si aso en kan si taya i ka tong be sembi mpo ka kwen bon kamre su i be se nye chi kenya a po ko va ri si an te i se njen si an en ko tai an en bio Magi sem mara, sing wo sem mara, sem gwad nube bung, sen chefa, sen chefa, sen chefa. 
Nankove tokwe nyuwe nyu. Paris, London, Belgium, Ngari, kwate kwen America. Ke moto wa u achimante. Va ati meve. Meningwe usi. Va ati meve. Mpaya chindu nereket. Va ati meve. Etoke biok ndaka kefo. Ke mempuro moto wa u. Menchi chan five aseme. Manu aku ngo chindem. Menchi mwaso temu kamai. I have been told that things have changed. I have been told that there are problems in the family. I have been told that there are disputes here and there. But I carry a soul in me because to forget a soul is to forget the blood in my veins. I'm going to do a second, a second poem, and you forgive me, I prefer not to translate so much because I want you to soak in the language. Mm -hmm. Even if you don't understand it, I just want you to feel the words. Yes. So this one has to do with domestic violence. It has to do with uh, a woman who enters a love relationship happily, but finds out that it is, she's being abused, and eventually she takes a decision to leave. And like most African poetry, it is a melange of poetry, drama, music. So you get all of it uh, together. Chongamba in me, ntewa kongma, chongamba in me, esamu wa kongma, chongamba in me, ntemo wa kongma, chongamba in me. Akokoretaya, ndongotai. Akokoretaya, ndong nendong. Even the meke ya vai. Even the meke ya kong. Ibe kong shungyan kong a pyong ansep etitia. Men kuo ngoa me mekong. Men kuo nyobriya me mekong. Kei yike taga. Anyu, anyu, anjo. Anyu, anyu, ankwen. Mbendem, andep. Mbembek, ansai. Mbendi, anjati. Anden, 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 anjati. And then and then and then and jati and then and then and jati and then and then and jati. I, njenga no bo, nka isi no di, nde mene, mene, nde me kongo wane me bai, nde me kongo wane me bai. Arabe sai me get away, arabe sai me fool okan. Be I, pe me. What I at your own? My at your own? Pay me, pay me. Chine Pemena, I have a life to live. Thank you. You can see why everybody wants to be her friend. <laughs> Thank you so much. You really honor us with your presence here today.